It's 10.06 on a fantastic Friday morning uh, right here on the Heartbeat to Lagos. The beat 99.9 FM. Uh, so we have one of the biggest artists out of Nigeria right now. We're one of the biggest songs out of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for CK. How you doing, my man? Hey, what's good? Yeah, it's great to have you here. CK, bro. I it's am starstruck. This is the first time we're actually officially meeting. Starstruck. Yeah, it's, Star- been, a, it's been a while I've been here. Like, yeah. I miss you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was a time that, you know, I, I got tired of seeing CK. It was in and out. Are you, you know? serious? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, let's go my audition for a job. <laughs> I, you know, and everything. I, I, I must say, I'm really proud of, mm. you know, how far you've come. When Thank I, you. I sent him message on twitter i was like bro i'm so proud of you you i know how he's hustled i know how far he's come yeah and you know when when you're talented and you keep putting out music especially uh in the music industry and it's not doing as well as you wanted to do you can easily get you know disillusioned and everything but he kept at it yeah right? then when love wants to happen in my mind i was like this song's been out like a while ago what's mm. going on so how did you feel when you you know look through them tiktok and instagram reels and your song was everywhere i mean it felt it felt good you never you expected <coughs> I actually expected it. <laughs> but, um, I mean, Love Entity was actually big the first time it came out. Yeah, it came know, out, yeah. Here and mm-hmm. in Africa, you know, but like last year, it came back again on like a different P, you yeah. know, and it was so unplanned. But um, I guess it's just one of those situations whereby if, if a vibe is authentic and people feel it, they don't need to understand the language to connect, you know. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's been, it's been crazy and wow like so much has happened and i mean i just feel blessed you know definitely but but the crazy thing like even though this was such like a huge time for you obviously you have there are village people who come and attack (laughs) every single thing so how did you feel when people were criticizing you saying uh who are you that how can you be the one to have like the number one single all over the world to be honest How, how how were you able to like deal with all of that negativity well uh i left twitter <laughs> i mean i just i just try to ignore negativity to be honest because negativity just i mean like I don't know. The best thing to do to negativity it's is just, just ignore it. Honestly. Yeah, because I, I kept seeing, yeah. I, I would see your tweets from time to time, and I'm like, okay, CK has a big song out mm. right now. It does not in any way invalidate the GOAT status your okay. fave has. Mm-hmm. It does not in any way invalidate, you know, other Nigerian songs of that are, you know, being big out there. Mm. And it was like, there was this constant, um, you know, crab, uh, crabs in a barrel mentality yeah. of, you know, finding a way to pit, okay, let's get, you know, f- uh, fan base against fan base. Mm. And I'm like, if this song is doing well, is a good thing for us as Nigerians though? Exactly. So yeah. it, as in, why, do, why are we so caught up in this whole it has to be one artist at a time that needs to be big everybody this guy's big enough everybody can be big at the same time mm-hmm. yeah so um i think your song is one of the most streamed uh you know nigerian songs out there i think i checked on spotify 368 million yeah yeah it's that's crazy. a lot of money yeah. man yeah <laughs> <laughs> they have Chanel on. Now, i mean like, <laughs> like for me yeah, the way i see it it's like yeah i'm just as a nigerian I myself am proud of the culture yeah. and the movement you mm-hmm. know like it's so crazy because to nigerians outside nigeria yeah the the emotions are very different you know like people people are excited that a nigerian song is you know doing so well you know what i mean like um <clears throat> if you're in london or you're in paris and you and you run into nigerians they're so happy that their white friends are telling them about a nigerian song you know what i mean so like it's a w for the whole culture like it's like i always say this the only thing that gives nigeria good pr is the music Mm. like everything else from politics to all that is is not really in the best shape the music is the one thing that makes people proud to be nigerian so like i just feel we should look at it that way and just set aside all this all negativity beef, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah we're literally we're nigerians and we're doing big things we should just be happy for our fellow nigerians that's how i see it well Definitely. i agree with you yeah um, and then again I, I found that like a lot of people started paying attention as well when you dropped that when you were on that um you know song with david and in my mind mm. i'm like ck has always been ck like why why mm. is it that people are just you know finding out there? that's one of my favorite <laughs> songs from that album as well you know love yeah. the video love the song as well then yeah. um what's the situation with chuck city is that is that still going on no it's it's not been i when i signed to warner music sc i made an announcement oh okay i was like 
almost two years ago. Okay. So, okay. So you're signed to Warner Music SA now. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, but when you look at uh, what's it called right now, when you look at the credits or um, you know the information that, or you know at the back of uh, Love Ones, do you still see chocolate? Yeah, Chuxi it was Zay. released uh, under Zay. chocolate. So how do it's eating good? <laughs> you know. Well, if I ask him, why you see him? No, there's no, there's no beef, no bad blood there, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I'd rather not comment on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fair okay. Let's leave it alone. Fair <laughs> okay. But what I want to know is like, okay, so obviously Love One City was such a huge respect, um, such a huge song. So does that put you under extra pressure every time you release a new song or you push a new song? Because people... You know, people are always going to compare. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are always going to be like, oh, can he still maintain that level of, of greatness? Yeah. I mean, how I see this thing yeah, is like, <clears throat> so music is art. It's not sports. I mean, some people see music like it's sports. Yeah, something. true. Like you have to <laughs> yeah, like bangles well, every you know, day. This, yeah. this thing is art, right? So me making a song about my relationship or my heartbreak or whatever yeah and the whole world connects with it yeah it's literally the whole world connecting to my authenticity and my story as a human being me just existing and telling you about how i'm existing is where people connect so as long as i keep existing and telling you how i'm existing i feel like as long as i'm authentic to who i am and i make good music people yeah, will people connect, connect. So, yeah I don't really put myself under pressure. I'm focusing on living my life, experiencing stuff, and making art about it. That's mm. all I okay. care about. Yeah, I deep, love yeah. it. I'm I love it. Ah, very, very profound. Very profound as well. That's yeah. deep. So, yeah. Um, so what are we to expect from you? It's 2022. It's a brand new year. So um, yeah. you have two <coughs> other big singles out. I love By Your Side. It was one of the songs I played a lot. Or yeah. I still play it on the radio. Yeah. Uh, Emiliana is doing, you know, uh, nice numbers outside Nigeria, even on the streaming side as well. I think it has mm. uh, way over 20 million, uh, you know, streams on Spotify right now. So, yeah. um. So what are we what are we to expect from you in 2022 then? Yeah, so this year is the year I dropped my first album. First. Yeah, so it's first all been album. EPs and you know Yeah, it's been EPs. I remember who the F is CK. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. that actually, that actually even more like a mixtape. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. That that EP wasn't an EP that, you know, was planned yeah. to be released. Mm. It was more like a mixtape, but yeah. Mm -hmm. CK the first was my first official EP mm -hmm. and Boyfriend was the second and yeah. now I'm ready to drop an album. Okay. Um, with my projects, I'm really, <clears throat> I'm very keen on experimenting with sounds and trying new things. Because I feel like if if I'm coming into a genre or if I'm making music in a genre, I have to bring something new to it. Mm. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to make the exact same thing that everyone has been listening to. You know, I feel like what's the point of me making music <clears throat> if I can't bring something new to the space? You know, so I like to try stuff, and on that album. Yeah, I spazzed. <laughs> yeah. I, I did a whole lot of, you know, interesting, you know. interesting things that I can't wait for people to hear. Oh, so when is the album? Lots of, this year. Okay. Later okay. No, this no, year. Date no date yet. Date. Yeah, okay. lots of um, really features? amazing collaborations okay. as well. You know, I've been on the road and I've been, you know, I've been working, you know, I've, I always stay working and um, I've been making some exciting music. So yeah. Are there, stay tuned for it. Will there be international collaborations? Because you've been traveling Absolutely. a lot. Absolutely. Can you tell, give us like one name? No. <laughs> 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 nah, so like the thing about me, yeah, I feel like if I, if I start saying names and if I start casting everything. Yeah, it doesn't, well, you don't think, yeah, so <laughs> like the anticipation is in there again. Yeah, yeah, I need you guys to feel it when it comes. All so right. Like you, you get, you feel it. So, uh, <laughs> looking at how much success you've gathered, you know, over the last year, so I'm sure that you get more uh, attention from the ladies right now and most times you are, you give up this lover boy, uh, you know, persona and everything. So on that end, are you like in a relationship? Are you dating? First of all, it's not, it's not a persona. <laughs> I mean, it's a lover boy. Yeah, I'm actually a lover okay, boy. Okay, because so you're um, in a relationship. Uh, right now, I'm not. Okay, so was the uh, love wanting to like you know something like a heartbreak that happened? Well, it was a heartbreak happened after it, but it wasn't okay. about the heartbreak. Oh, okay. You know, at the time I wrote it, we were still together. together. Oh yeah. wow. Okay. So now you're single and just loving life. Yeah, I guess. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he's like. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to talk about this. <laughs> 
Thank you, Louis CK. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for I having me. I know we've been trying to, you know, get you to sit down. I know last year has been crazy. Crazy. You know, traveling, yeah. doing them shows, and you know, yeah. just uh, uh, being a fantastic ambassador of our great country, Nigeria. Yes. So keep doing you. Thank uh, you. It makes me uh, proud every time where, mm-hmm. I see, where, where I know people's stories personally, and I see that you know all that years of hard work is finally yeah. paying off because yeah. a lot of people only see the finished products. Nobody mm-hmm. actually knows how much. How much Hard work. How yeah. much times he has to change the color of his hair? <laughs> 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 I get that all of that. So thank you so much, CK, for stopping by. Uh, so here's that me. monster hit single, "Love Wanting" team by CK. My name is Josie, hanging out with Simi Dre. Uh, it's the morning rush right here on the Heartbeats of Lagos. The beat, ninety nine point nine FM.